What is good, y'all? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be doing another episode of our road to 250k, in which I break down my squad, my thought process, how I'm going to get the best squad possible for the $250,000 tournament. Now, we got a lot to break down. There's a lot of things to talk about but before we dive into any of that if you are new to my channel and have not yet please smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers so i don't know exactly if these locker codes are going to work in but we're gonna try typing them in today and seeing if if they are are working right now so the first one is from a jd crossover we're just gonna see if these work again i never really pull anything from them but it's always worth it to type these locker codes in whether it is my no money spend account or this 250k account so i actually think i did forget to type these in on my no money spend account today because i mean we didn't get content so i just figured we wouldn't have any locker codes to type in but i was wrong so here you either get a flash six uh hakeem pack or contracts pack obviously you kind of want the flash six pack but either way it is what it is i'll take a contracts pack at the end of the day it's better than nothing so i, I would always encourage you guys to type in the, the newest locker codes of the day so i do get a contract pack out of the first locker code so this one's from carlos story shout out to carlos story and jd cross for both for these locker codes hopefully i can get a hakeem pack at least one hakeem pack would be a little nice addition to my 250k account uh, oh my goodness we get a basketball pack out of everything we get a basketball pack it is what it is at the end of the day it is free stuff uh and and i can't really complain so we do have a lot of, of stuff to open and i'm just gonna open them kind of in the order that they're they're in so this first pack obviously it's a basketball pack a purple and gold ball i mean it's just i don't know i don't know if any of those sell for anything or not gold contracts pack i actually think i bought a bunch of gold contracts just the other day we'll see if i'm at yeah see i'm gonna have to apply these to a player which isn't the end of the deal isn't the end of the world because i mean they need contracts anyway here we do get a deluxe heat check award pack hopefully i can pull a heat check player imagine if i pulled like a Giannis out of this or something i would absolutely lose my mind a crew is gonna have some sort of value but i feel like because the the daily login reward was a base heat check uh pack award so i feel like the heat checks right now aren't gonna hold the most value so here we do get a diamond nicholas batum another card in which i can grind challenges and that's something i'm going to talk a lot about today is xp and then obviously the the when the season ends and, and kind of go into my mindset for that so diamond nicholas batum is a very i mean is a guy that i can grind some good xp with double take pack here i'll probably pull an amethyst hedu turk loop because i feel like that's who always pops out of these packs never mind a ruby dominic wilkins even worse so get into these packs here i can't wait to get the badge packs that's really where the mt is to be made deluxe heat check pack award here as well okay christian wood he's on fire i don't think he'll probably sell for anything crazy but he is indeed on a fire uh and maybe i don't know maybe he'll have some sort of value there's another basketball pack just basically a waste of time uh the fact that you can even get basketball packs i know shake tweeted about it out of these locker codes it's just kind of sad and i wish it was wish it wasn't the way it is but hey it is what it is bronze stop and go we like i said we have a ton of these badges to open here and i don't even know where these badge packs are from like i don't think they're all from unlimited they might be but pretty sure i opened them all in the last video so i don't know exactly where these badge packs are necessarily coming from but we do have a lot of them to open here we do get a bronze difficult shots uh and most of these badges don't have an extremely high value but again if i need some extra mt right before 250 and i don't use these badges i'm gonna have a, a decent amount of mt just sitting in my collection which is going to be pretty pretty nice for me uh to have that extra mt here we do get another bronze badge bailout i'm just hoping for like a bronze range extender flexible even like a silver showtime that's obviously what i need more than anything because that badge shows for a lot bronze tight handers and maybe i'll go through my collection and just see if i have any extra badges sitting around that are selling for a lot that i don't need because right now it's not like i'm applying a ton of badges there's silver flexible i bet that goes for something but it's not like i'm applying a ton of badges or using a ton of badges on players right now uh because i mean the the only thing i'm worried about is when i get Kawhi or when i get uh, the next you know token player whoever it may be in which i have to apply badges that's the only thing is when i have to apply badges when i get a player off the auction house majority of the time i'm gonna try to find one that is badged out so i don't really apply that many badges to my players unless they are reward players for example bronze steady shooter you've got to be kidding me that's like the worst badge in the game 
Another badge pack here. We'll see what we do indeed uh, pull here. Uh, Neo Thunder. And hey, man, I ain't gonna sit here and lie. That, uh, hey, man, I know I know it, it might be a fluke, but the Timberwolves got their first win in a very long time last night. So hopefully it's a good sign of things to come for Ant-Man, uh, specifically Anthony Edwards, because he played super, super good last night. So I'm gonna apply that contract there to Tracy McGrady. And we're just gonna keep pushing on forward. Gold Series 2 pack here. And uh, speaking of the rookies, it, I can't wait until we get, like, Malik Beasley. Look at him. He's been balling this year as well. But I hope we get, like, a rookie, rookie, like, kind of not necessarily, like, not necessarily, like, Pink Diamond or, or you know, Galaxy Opal cards. But I want to see, like, a, a rookies maybe start being in some promos. Like an Amethyst, Anthony Edwards, or Lamella Ball. Even Moments cards would be dope to see. So now that we got through all of that, I just want to show you guys kind of the update on where I'm at as far as badges. I do have 15 Hall of Fame badges sitting here because I do got two clutch shooters. I'm just going to wait to apply them the day before. Now, to go along with that, obviously, you guys, most of you guys know if you guys have watched this before. I do got these three Hall of Fame badges to obtain, as well as the extra Hall of Fame badge that I'm going to get from my team limited, as well as this level 39 Hall of Fame badge. So if you guys are wondering, am I going for Kawhi or am I not going for Kawhi? Yes, I'm going to be getting Kawhi Leonard in hopes that 2K does update him. And obviously he can play the small forward shooting guard position and I think he is going to be very, very solid there. He, if they don't update him, he might not play for me. But currently with the time we're in, he will play for me 100% when I do get him. Because obviously I'm playing Cam Reddish. This is my current squad. I'm playing Cam Reddish, I'm playing Zion. Both of those guys are going to go pretty quickly. And then after those guys go, then, I mean, honestly, my squad is looking pretty good. Obviously, Gary Payton's time eventually is going to come to an end. I like the card, but eventually, you know, it's just going to be his time. AD, Hakeem, they're going to be here for a long time. I, I don't... I, even if we get a David Robinson, Kareem, they, these two guys are going to be here for a very, very long time. Trust me when I do say that. So I am going to go for this Kawhi Leonard. Now, the big thing is he has 18 days left in his kind of time span. So what does that exactly mean? Well, okay, you guys count today. Today is Monday. Tuesday will be, will be 17 days. Wednesday will be 16. Thursday, 15. And Friday, 14 days left. Quick mess. So you guys do the math. I did the math. In two Fridays from now, okay, so so we got Friday, then the next Friday, then the next. So basically, in 18 days from now, we're going to see a new season. That's going to be the Friday before the 250K tournament. Now, what does that mean for me? Well, here's the thing. If we get a souped up player of the month, a souped up 68 and over reward, I might have to be grinding all day for that 68 and over reward. If we get a souped up, let's let's say we get a souped up, uh, what what is this? The exchange. Let's say we get a souped up exchange reward. It's not gonna happen, but if we do, might have to lock that in. To go along with those two things, let's say we get a souped up token rewards. Let's say we get two new souped up token rewards. I gotta be ready for those as well. So there's a lot more that goes into this than just you know, oh, we get a new update in 18 months. No, that is the day before 250k. So. A lot can happen, plus that might be another Friday content drop that we do get. So there's just a lot that goes into that as a whole. So let's say we get Idols, the second Idols player right there, and that's automatically a player. Maybe we get an Idols VIP player. So there's just a lot that kind of, that could that can swing some things. You guys saw the last, last Idols drop, we got AD, Granger, and Oscar. So we could see possibly three good players in, in that, plus we get the Unlimited reward, plus we do get obviously new token players so you're if you think your team is is set in stone whatever the case may be just think let's say we get an idols uh, idols kareem for example we get david robinson in the token market and then we get a guy like let's say rudy gay is like an idols vip dude there's just so many things that can possibly change here in the in the next couple weeks so my lineup right now it's okay but i feel like one or two of these cards is getting i mean two or three maybe max is going to play in the actual 250k tournament because there's just going to be so much turnover in the next couple weeks so that's why like i bought mellow initially i sold mellow back because i didn't love the card and so that's the thing it's like my mellow he was okay but he, he was not gonna it was not a card that was gonna play for me in 250 so for me he just wasn't worth holding on to so obviously getting Kawhi is going to be important hopefully they do update him and so my thing on Kawhi Leonard is this right I love Kawhi Leonard I've always loved Kawhi Leonard in 2k his stats are amazing they don't even need to touch his stats if they just do a couple of things first of all give him unpluckable you know, maybe get rid of Steady Shooter. Just add a little bit more to the card. 
he will definitely be worth it. Even if he only has low 20s Hall of Fame badges, okay? That's not even as many as T-Mac has like uh, 25, I think, on his base card. So let's say even Kawhi has low 20s Hall of Fame badges. Get rid of Steady Shooter. You give him Unpluckable. He is going to be very, very solid. I do see 2K updating him just a little bit, tweaking him just a little bit to make him a little better because right now he can't, not to say he can't compete, but the fact of the matter is Jack Marin has more Hall of Fame badges than him. T-Mac, I mean, my T-Mac has 25. I think his base has 24 Hall of Famers. You look through and through, Anton Jameson has more Hall of Fame badges than even Kawhi Leonard. So if you kind of look at it through that kind of a lens, I feel like they have to, in turn, update Kawhi eventually. Like, they truly, truly do. And if you look at my positions, the small forward and power forward positions for me are probably the weakest. So just think, we're probably going to get a Giannis before 250K. Giannis is for sure going to play for me. We're probably going to see another center in D-Rob, or D-Rob, Kareem, somebody like that. So maybe AD will get moved to the four. There's just a lot of different things that might happen for me uh, pre-250K. So there's just a lot of movement that can happen and stuff as well. So I'm just, I'm, I'm not trying to, to spend a lot of my MT right now. Obviously, I got to get ready for the February 6th qualifier. That's the big thing for me because I want to, I want to play and improve my score definitely. So that's one of the bigger things for me is making sure I play in this next qualifier and obviously improving my score. So yes, I have to get my, I have to get a solid team for 250K, but this starters right here, and let's say they drop, I don't know who a solid player uh, on Friday, which I can add to my collection, but I feel like my squad right now, I can go out there with this squad and be pretty confident in getting some quick quits. So that's kind of what I'm working with as far as this squad right now, if 250K was probably today, this is the squad I would rock out with. Now, obviously, Hakeem, we might have to get him in the lineup somehow because he is that elite, but this is really the squad I'm thinking about. Uh, like, if, if, if it was today, this is probably the squad I would go out there with. Again, my AK has Hall of Fame Showtime, and, and he doesn't really need anything else. So this is this really what we're working with right now. Again, hopefully we get an update uh, Friday. Friday, I'm expecting a Giannis. I'll say that right now. I've been saying it for a while. I'm expecting a Giannis on Friday. And if his price isn't too OD, maybe we'll have to pick him up as well. But again, I expect his price to be kind of crazy on that Friday. And for me, I, it's not like a super high pressure situation. I, I'm not going to feel a lot of pressure to improve my score. Because again, I'm already qualified. If I don't improve my score, it is what it is. I got to beat the best anyways. So that's not that big of a deal. I just think improving my score gives me the best chance to win $200,000. So the big thing for me personally is obviously I'm not grinding for Terry Dishinger. And I don't think he's worth it. Let's say I play 30 more games, just grinding XP. And he happens to pop up. I'll take Terry Dishinger. Don't get me wrong. He's going to play on my squad. But he's not a guy in which I'm just going to sit there and grind for uh, continuously day after day. It's just not like that. That, especially when Jack is just nearly as good as Terry. So for me, it's just not necessarily worth it, especially knowing the content we're going to get here in the next couple of weeks. There's just going to be a lot of turnover that happens before 250K, a lot of new players, a lot of new cards. So it's definitely something to keep in the back of your mind if you are qualified for 250K or if you're just kind of into the 250K tournament as a whole and wondering, you know, Ty, why are you not doing this? Why are you doing this certain thing? Why are you not spending your tokens? Just remember there's always that bigger plan in mind, especially with my Hall of Fame badges more than anything. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of our Road to 250K. Drop a like on the video. Comment any thoughts you have, any strategic thoughts that you have on my account that you specifically three see. Let me know that. Drop a sub if you are new to the channel. I love y'all, man, and hopefully I have a blessed day.